The Files Association setting lets you configure the default language mode used for a file based on either the file name or the file extension. You can use this to override VS Code's default behavior or to teach VS Code about additional file types and language modes that it doesn't use by default. Now here, for example, I have a TypeScript file, and if I go and I open this, you can see that it's using React code here, but the highlighting is slightly off, and if I actually go and I run Format Document, it will go and actually corrupt this content. And that is because it is treating this as normal TypeScript instead of TypeScript React. So to work with React code and TypeScript, you normally need to have a special language mode that supports the JSX syntax here. Now if I go and I undo this, we could actually change the language mode in just this one file by going down to the status bar, clicking on the language mode today, so TypeScript, and instead saying TypeScript React. Now our highlighting will be updated and format document and everything will work in this case, but we'd have to do that for every TypeScript file we're working with. And as soon as we close the file and then reopen it, you can see that it's back to using the default TypeScript language mode instead. We can use the files association setting to make sure that all TypeScript files in our project are instead treated as TypeScript React. So let's open up the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac. And I'll say file associations. I want the files association setting here. Again, this is a mapping between file names and you can use glob patterns here and then uh, the language mode that you want to use for this file. So I'm going to go and add an item in this setting. I'm going to say star.ts. So this is going to match any file that has the TS file extension. And then as the language mode, I'm going to say TypeScript React. And that's going to be our new language mode for all TypeScript files. So now if I go and I switch back to this uh, app.test.ts file here, it is being treated as uh, TypeScript React. You can see down here in the language mode, if I open another TypeScript file, so this index.ts, it is also being treated as TypeScript React as soon as I fix that syntax error. And things like format document will also work. So I can go in here, run format document, and that is now doing the right thing instead of corrupting our JSX code like it was before. Now you can also use the files association setting based on the language name. So for example, here I have a readme file that is being treated as plain text by default because there is no file extension, but we can use file association to configure that to be treated as markdown content by default. So again, with the setting here, I'll go in and add a new item. I'll say readme as the key. And then the language mode is going to be markdown. I'll say OK here. Switch back to the readme file. And now this is being treated as markdown content by default. 